So there are a few different ways to measure light. In this video, I'm gonna speak particularly to PAR, or photosynthetically active radiation, how to measure your PAR. Now, when I was in photography school, we used light meters to measure lux, or luminosity. And this is the intensity of the light as we see it, humans, the brightness, basically. But this doesn't really translate directly over to plants. You can use light meters to get uh, a general idea of how much light intensity is hitting your plant, but they're not gonna tell you really the PAR, the photosynthetically active radiation. So let me break that down for you for a second. Photosynthetically active radiation. Well, light waves are packets of electromagnetic radiation. Uh, they're actually waves that are broken up into particles. And the particles are the photons and the photons carry the electromagnetic radiation. So that's the R in PAR or the radiation part taken care of. The radiation comes from the electromagnetic radiation that is in the small packet of energy called a photon that travels along the wavelength that is light. Now, photosynthetically active, the P and the A, these two actually are working together because what this means is that uh, the radiation is going to be directly activating photosynthesis. In other words, these are the wavelengths of light that the plant uses directly for photosynthesis. So when you measure the PAR, you're actually measuring all of the wavelengths within the area of photosynthetically active radiation for your plant. You're measuring all of those wavelengths and then it's putting it together into a composite number. That number is measured in U-moles. The way that light energy is measured on one of these devices is gonna be in micromoles over a linear centimeter. So now let's get into how to actually use one of these devices. So there are many different PAR meters on the market. Uh, this one is pretty inexpensive because it doesn't have an interface. Uh, the interface is uh, your phone or a tablet or any other device that you can download this app onto and sync it to with Bluetooth. I'll link this one up in the description box below as well as a few other PAR meters to give you some options. So when you fire this one up, and you look in the app, at the top, we're gonna to see our micromoles over a linear centimeter, otherwise known as the PPFD. And this stands for photosynthetic photon flux density. So what the PPFD more directly measures is the PAR, or the photosynthetically active radiation, that's hitting a measuring tool at different dis distances from the light. So if we look at this PPFD map, actually, you can see that all these measurements are taken at different distances to give you uh, the different maps here with the different numbers on them. Those numbers are the PPFD. And what they're measuring is the PAR. Let me know in the comments below if this makes sense to you or if I'm just losing everybody and I should make a whole nother, just more simplified video because lighting can get pretty complex and I'm trying my very best to explain it in a way that makes sense to everybody. So the other thing you're gonna see when you're measuring your PAR, at least on this particular meter, is it's gonna give you a red, a green, and a blue output level. And that's really handy because you're gonna want different variations of these light colors at different stages during your plant's growth. At the beginning, you're gonna want a lot more blue, a lot less red, and as it gets larger, you're gonna to wanna to add a lot more red. So it really does help to know the color of light as well as the PPFD. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know down in the comments below. And until the next video, let's grow together.